Welcome back to the Tiger Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about Echo Base. It is a vintage collectibles toy store in Orlando, Florida, and I also want to say that it has more than just Star Wars and more than just vintage, some modern stuff too. So we're going to take a look at this, and I'm going to go into some video footage, some pictures of it coming up. So starting out, we are going to look at some Star Wars figures. Now, these are the lower price ones. Now, I didn't get a price on all of them, but they have higher price ones in a different part. This is Echo Base. There's going to be some Star Wars stuff. going to be a lot of cool Star Wars stuff in here. So it's like you, it begins and ends with Star Wars for the most part. And then we get over here. I don't know exactly what this Muscles vending machine thing is. They did have a Classics Castle Grayskull from Mattel, and that is really awesome. They wanted a thousand for it. I don't know what what all was included with it, but uh, I thought that was about on par with what those castles go for nowadays. And then uh, looking in here, we've got some G1 Transformers. Of course, my eye was drawn to that right away. Good to see them. I do remember looking at the prices on each one, on several of them, thinking that was a very reasonable price for the current market. And I was actually tempted to buy a few of them, to tell you the truth, but I haven't been really picking up G1 Transfer so much lately just because I just don't, but they're cool. I always appreciate looking at them. It's exciting. We got some more stuff over here in this other case. Some Godzilla and a few other things and variety of stuff. But they got a whole lot of variety. Uh, there's some Ghostbuster stuff over here. There's more Ghostbusters that you're going to see some Kenner Ghostbusters coming up. Then we got some more Transformers going on through here. And most of this stuff is complete. I remember looking at some of this stuff and going, yeah, it's pretty darn complete. And and pretty well priced for the most part. Got a little bit of masterpiece stuff going on in there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's it's displayed well too. And I do want to point out, like this stuff here, it's really hard to make G1 stuff look like it's displayed really well. But you're gonna see some really well displayed stuff in the Masters of the Universe coming up and some Joe. But here's more uh, G1 Transformer stuff. So pretty exciting, pretty fun. Good to see all this stuff again. And. Got some Voltron. I like the Voltron stuff that's in there. It's pretty exciting. Uh, a little bit of Robotech mixed in. And then uh, we do have some Exo Squad, which is kind of cool. I haven't gotten very deep into Exo Squad myself, so I don't know a whole lot about it. Then we get into the Power Rangers stuff. And again, I don't know a whole lot about the Power Rangers, but there it is. And they do have a nice section of Power Rangers getting up here to even more of that. And then it kind of slides into some Turtle stuff. They got some cool turtle stuff. It is fun to see vintage turtle stuff in the package. And some of these things I have seen, but not complete. So it was nice to see some complete ones and complete sets. And uh, it was just fun to look at all of this stuff and kind of reminisce and brings you back. Uh, that's that's half the fun, but but for me, the most of the fun is the buying of stuff. Lego got some, I think those are some vintage Lego sets. But again, I'm not a, Le a huge Lego guy. I'm going to be putting together a Lego Voltron. <laughs> My son's going to do it. There's some Star Wars Lego in there. Then we get into the reaction stuff. So they got a, quite a bit of the reaction figures. And I really like uh, the reaction stuff for the most part because there's characters that you'll never see made by any other company. And so I'm, I've been so tempted on so many of these that I actually bought uh, one or two of these when I was here. So uh, because they're 20 bucks, they were just 20 bucks, not a, not a big deal. Um, I know 20 is a lot for them, but I haven't seen them in person ever. Uh, it's much different when you see them in person. Some Garbage Pell Kids stuff going on here. And then we've got uh, another display case here, some vintage carded stuff, uh, some Ghostbusters, and that looks pretty good, some Kinder Ghostbusters. The funny thing is that I think somebody bought a lot of these Ghostbusters while I was there. I was just, uh, it was interesting watching the Ghostbusters stuff get tallied up, and uh, it was pretty exciting. Then we've got, so this is fun here. They got some Silverhawks and some Chris Star and some Indiana Jones. And and again, uh, I probably should show it a lot slower than I'm showing it, but uh, very well priced. I mean, I, I was tempted by a lot of that stuff that was in there. Uh, so really well priced. Uh, problem was I had most of the stuff that I was most excited about. So I'm only looking to buy the things I don't have. So I took this picture of the mask stuff because I wanted to look at it a little bit longer and I, I know that the shaky cam is probably not the most fun to look at in a video. So pictures, that's why I like pictures because the pictures are still and you can see everything in it and let your eye get drawn to whatever you want to look at. But this, uh, this was kind of fun to see this and see a lot of these and most of them were complete for the most part. 
and pretty well priced. I wished I could have zoomed in and got better prices on this stuff, but again, I remember looking at them thinking the prices were good. I just don't remember them, and that's another reason I took pictures. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to zoom in on them later and tell you what everything was priced, but still pretty good stuff. Getting a little bit closer, look at this Starcom stuff they have here. This is really some impressive uh, stuff. I, I know that these are getting harder and harder to find, so that was pretty cool. Okay, so we're getting into some Marvel. They got some Marvel stuff. I'm moving a little bit faster than I probably should be. And then we've got this Jurassic Park playset with now with that gate. I mean, that, that place that keeps popping in my mind with that gate funding that's going on. Uh, and then we've got walls and walls of figures, of course. Uh, pretty much all the toy stores do. And, and I think I started moving a little bit faster through this because I didn't think people just want to sit and watch this stuff. Uh, just everything in here. There's so much. It's not a huge building. This is what really got me, this Dino Riders. I'm on the verge of either quitting or stepping up and finishing Dino Riders, but uh, it's, it's just too much. But I really wanted that. There's a really nice uh, Katzler that was up there. And then we get into some He-Man stuff, which uh, this is the vintage stuff. And, of course, vintage stuff, pretty well priced, too. I, I really like looking at them. The getting down here to the classics. The classic stuff, I just thought it looked so good. And there were several of them I wanted to buy, uh, definitely. But... They were they were a little on the price you're in for the classic stuff just because they are they carry a high high ticket high price and uh, the ones of course the ones I asked about were the rarest of the rare so obviously I picked the the higher price ones I got the higher price <laughs> quoted to me but still on uh, still below eBay I believe I think everything in here that I looked at was below what I could find it on eBay for so uh, it was pretty cool. And then we look at some of the Super 7 stuff there. Now, as for wrestlers, if you like some wrestling, there's some wrestling in there. And then uh, more Masters of the Universe, more He-Man, more, more, more. And some some of these pieces I'm actually after, but I I didn't really go crazy. Uh, I actually, it's kind of hard. I would already bought that Tron stuff, and uh, that was already expensive enough. And then going in here, I was like, wow, I could buy so much of this, but... Uh, looking at some more Star Wars, this is Echo Base, so they do have a lot of Star Wars stuff. And, and I was really wanting to show this. I think that this was displayed very well. It looks really cool. I like this. This is something you'd expect in a collector's collection, the way it's displayed. This is kind of something you'd expect. But this is a store, and, and they're selling this stuff. And it's pretty awesome and pretty exciting. Uh, looking at some Last 17 stuff in here. And, yeah, now this is this is not all the figures in here, but for the most part, these are the expensive ones. Uh, the other side of the room had the cheaper stuff, so the, there are some pricey figures in here that are, that are really... Uh, I was trying to get a picture of it, but that picture didn't turn out very well. But but fun stuff. I remember when I was collecting this like a decade ago, and it was it was uh, a lot cheaper than it is now. But, uh, but it's really nice condition stuff, and it was fun to see it all and look at all of this. And, and in a way, I was happy I'd already collected this stuff years ago, a decade ago, but... Uh, but still, all this box, that shuttle got me. I, I stopped and looked at that for a while. I had to. Had to stop looking at the shuttle. And then there's some modern stuff. Then we're going to slide into some modern Star Wars, uh, not just in the case, but on the wall. And just, it felt like everywhere, pretty much everywhere. Here is a picture of a bunch of stuff on the wall and just all the different eras and and you know they were priced well some of them were as cheap as i think three dollars five dollars seven dollars something along those lines uh just depending on which one and and that's pretty cool to just be able to walk in and flip through a bunch of figures from back in the day even if they're not the most desirable ones they're still priced pretty well all right getting into more of this modern stuff and then just uh clone wars and just a mixture of a whole lot of stuff going on so pretty cool stuff uh, all different eras so it's nothing is just one era of Star Wars, this is all kinds of different stuff, all different scales, 12 inch and uh, vintage Falcon and modern Falcons and uh, really cool. That Jedi box is hard to get and then a bunch of different Darth Vader's and helmets and all, all kinds of stuff. Pretty fun. And then I was trying to see what that was. Now we got some G.I. Joe that is pretty cool. Uh, we got the has that Sky Striker up there. We've got Cops and Crooks. So look how good that's displayed. How well that's displayed. That looks really good. And just out of the blue, look at this really great Cops and Crooks display. Look at what's probably left of a collection of of uh, Visionaries and then the Joe stuff. Yeah, and a couple of figures have fallen down. I mean, things get bumped or whatever. But 
they really went through some effort to put this together, make it look good, make it display well. It was kind of fun to even look at it just to see all this stuff. And of course, to see the care they put into displaying it. They had a ton of Joe stuff. I mean, it was this stuff was displayed real well. There's a wall of figures that are just uh, sort of piled on the wall, which is fun to dig through and see what's going on. And of course, I don't have too many pictures of the polybag walls, but they had polybag figures and polybag walls and uh, good stuff. You know, that's a, I think that's a Tiger Force uh, that's a suit there. That was kind of fun. Just lots of vintage carded figures too. Just tons of them. Uh, it was, it just felt like the Joe stuff just kept going forever. Just forever. Just a forever amount of Joe stuff, which was fun and exciting. Uh, the vintage O-ring, uh, that Starduster, I think it was like $400, $500, or something like that. It's pretty expensive, but um, I think that's actually a good price. So I'm getting in some pictures. Some of these just didn't come out very well. Obviously, I can't retake them now, so I'm just going to kind of go through them pretty quickly and just talk about them. But it's fun to see like 25th anniversary stuff on the wall, a uh, Jojo Classified, quite a variety, quite a selection there, and pretty reasonably priced. Then... Uh, and then there's just some random other stuff here and there and then uh it was it was fun to flip through some fun school vintage joes and 45 bucks each for the most part on these fun school joes and then we've got no well, maybe they're not poly bags but they've got these figures that are in cases with all their accessories and that's kind of fun to see them and more and more of them it's it's a fun shop there's so much to it i'm obviously not gonna be able to capture all of what they have and everything but I think I can show the vast majority and you get an idea and if you're if you're heading to Orlando for whatever reason then you might just be able to stop by and check it out and be kind of fun I had fun I bought a couple of things and it was it's it was always fun to look through all this kind of stuff and uh, pick up a few things and then reminisce so anyway if you've ever been to Echo Base uh, let me know if you've ever been to Echo Base if uh, you ever had any a fun experience there. Did you get anything there? Uh, there's always stuff coming and going, turning over, and uh, lots of great fun, lots of great displays, and I, I really like how it was laid out. But let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Put it here, hanger out.